Good day, my dear friends. I'm Oliver from Token Hobby. This time I bring you one list to 1 to 14 size. This front shovel, K970, it's 200 version. So this one is very tough, strong. You see the arm, so big, very strong one. This one is weighs about 31 kg, very heavy. We will put battery and start testing the functions to show you. We got this radio, it is Paladin EV Lite. We started and got big battery, 15,000 mAh, 3S. Okay, we will put this battery chamber and the plug is fixed there. Also, got a switch and the power showing down there. We will power on. Maybe half of the power remaining now. Okay, let's start. Now it's connected. Okay. So, we will first power on the engine. On. Power on. The engine sound starts. Here we got the light. Can change. Okay, also the back side of the cabin have light. We will start moving. Start the hydraulic pump. Pump start. It also can be open to unload.
So from this side, we already opened it here. See the battery chamber here and got the power switch and the battery showing how much power remaining. And from this door, we got a pressure guard and you can see the wires in, inside of there. Still got space empty here. This top engine cover can be opened separately. So we got two receiver and a light sound system plate, the main board here. So down there, all covered by this. This is the battery chamber, stainless steel cover. Here we got the ESC for the hydraulic oil pump motor. And here we see the reverse valve, these uh, servos are on top here. Okay, so we will cover it. This reverse pipe is all stainless steel. So for this also, all the material is alloy and the stainless steel. Only the hose and the cabins, these windows are made of plastic. Okay, we will see a little bit more. So here we got another one. It's, it is the ESC for the motor. Driving motor is here. And for this door could be opened for the cabin. And you will see inside got one screen with LED lights. You can see numbers on it. It is written uh, the voltage of the battery and uh, the pressure of the system but the pressure that now is not showing correctly it is only some numbers there but voltage for the battery is correct we will close it got lock and here we see the metal letters stainless plate all these letters shiny metal and here we got the stainless track with painting Driving wheels, idlers. Okay, let's see the bucket. We will close up so you can see clearly. So from here, the downside front, you will see the two cylinder for the big boom, the big arm. Also got the protection plate here with sliding and you see these two big cylinders are quite big so can could have enough power to lift up and dig in. We got the hose only connection from here from the arm. This oil pipe it's all copper pipe with painting. Also these connections with boots it's very strong and secured. These details you see with this pipe no damage for the hose, very strong, no leaking. And this is middle cylinder for the small arm, two cylinder here for the bucket. And in the back, you will see there are hose connections on, can see from here. Goes inside the bucket, they got cylinder for opening the bucket. Okay. So let's see this side. We got letters to go down, to go up, to see here. And uh, we will open here, have door. We got the hydraulic pump here, and uh, you can see the hose. It's transparent, so you can see if you have some uh, deposits or dirty of the oil, or the oil level is low, you can fill up. So the pump suction oil from the tank here, the filling up from here, and uh, then pump to the re reverse valve, through the reverse valve go to each cylinder, and also the return line from the re reverse valve will goes, uh, goes to back the return line, and go back to the cooler here. The cooler got a fan, and uh, also after cooler, we'll come to this filter. The metal deposits, some uh, dust inside will be uh, keep it in here because it's got a magnetic there. And after that, we'll go back to the oil tank. 
From here, you also see the pressure release valve. It is on top of the pump body. So the, the pressure of the system could be adjusted. Okay, let's offer this actuator. Thank you. This one is the couplet K970 to handle a front shovel actuator. So thank you very much. That's all we have here. Uh, for what you like to see, any suggestions, you could talk to me anytime. Thank you very much. See you.